Hello! I am just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going junior, even though I played half of these games, because I like to have a task list. It's best to play this game in a dark room. I've never gotten that on a Nancy Drew before. Huh. Supposed to be in Nolans. Oh, there's some footprints. Hi, the door was open. <sighs> oh. I mean, I don't know how much that, like, that loud of a gasp was warranted. Ah! Because I think it is, like, Mardi Gras time, but oh, shoot. How's it going? So I walked in, and then I saw this, well, I saw a skeleton, and then he saw me. It was very obviously a mask, but she's traumatized. The smoke must have made me pass out. You saw a skeleton? I'm sure it was just someone, you know, wearing a costume or something. I'm Nancy Drew, by the way. I came to see Henry, so we surmised. I'm Renee and Mom. Is Bruno dead? What's going on? Why are you still here working if you past tense? Worked for him. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know that one. Now I would have to. If it's similar enough, I'd have to play it. Oh, that's a little trippy. Okay. Investigate. I'm getting used to. I'm playing off of capture card on my. I should like set it so that I'm just playing on the real screen, but maybe I'll do it later. Oh, okay, so there's a pattern of some sort. No. Okay. I'll keep my eye out for tooth pattern. Hey, thanks for the follow. Oh, they're all? Hello. They all just sort of... So there must be some sort of pattern or something. But I don't know what it is. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I'm good, how are you? Mm -hmm. No think over there. I don't want to go outside yet. Where was Henry speaking from? 
There he is. Ned is Nancy's boyfriend, by the way, if you don't know. I mean, I really don't know him that well, just from school. But when I mentioned that my only living relative just died, he was all like, Yeah? How are you feeling, man? Doing okay? Wanna talk? Of course, I guess I do come across as a little needy sometimes. Were you very close to your uncle? Oh, so I already knew he was dead. Um, I put it in the title. It's Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull. I'm getting audio from both. Oh, I see it. Doop. That should fix it. It looks like I'm getting audio from the game capture and the PC. Thank you. Um. No. <laughs> I sure can. The end. She doesn't try to solve the mystery. No, no. I can't. I have to solve the mystery. I'm Nancy fucking Drew. understand you're not wanting to call the police but somebody should investigate and since playing detective is kind of a hobby with me no offense but are you sure you didn't just pass out from the heat and humidity or something and dream that you saw the skeleton dude i'm pot he blew smoke in my face I'm what or okay. dust or something all you want. i've been anthrax warn you uncle bruno was into exotic didn't believe in cages, so we gave him the run of the place. And just because he's dead doesn't mean they are. So if you're gonna go poking around, nice. Be okay, watch out for freaking tigers, I guess. I already think I did this whole circle. Can I look at those books? No. Boop boop boop. Can I look at those trophies? Yes, I can. Miniature Modelers of America. Uh, I don't know why it's important, but yeah, close enough. Miniature Models of America, first place again! It's 1978, 1991. Oh, there's rolling. There's something inside of this one. An eyeball! I'll take that. Miniature Models of America first place, 86, 82, uh, 85, so he's all up in that model game. Okay. Do 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 do, open this drawer. Page numbers? Okay. Remember that for later. Doop. Doop 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 doop. Okay. Is it tilted on the side? Yeah, it's a little tilted looking. Oh. Maybe the house is just sinking or something? We got a combination lock. Cool. Or a clock combination kind of thing. That's back where I was. Uh, 
game. I guess I can't look at anything closer there. Yeah, my mouse is moving real weird because of the way I'm playing this. I'll have to change it next time I play this. Um, oh, like a scale model of, I guess, New Orleans. Does it have a title? Mm. So it's just the one spot I can look closer at. Okay. Guestbook. Oh, not guestbook. Plot. This is where people are buried. Oh, it buried, it literally says right there. Okay. So I assume I'm gonna have to go like dig up graves or something later, that would be fun. <laughs> I'll have to come back to that too. Hmm. Especially because I don't even know what the play I might not even be able to do it properly until later. Ooh, somebody tried to burn something. Some an order at Zeke's. And I'm gonna take a, a charcoal. Oops, something on the floor. Looks like a rubbing. We got a missing picture. Creepy portraits. And that's just about everything in this room. Tilted hallway. It would be so disorienting. Dang, is this my door? Hey, another eyeball. I'll take that. Add it to my collection. Just a blank wall with lines on it. Makes me think there's a door there. Does not make me want to sleep in this room. to sleep here. <laughs> Maybe not because now I can't even go back over to the bed. Um, I'll go see if he has anything else to say. I go in. Yes. Is it worth very much? Is your great uncle's estate worth very much? I have no idea. Nor will I until I get all his affairs settled. He was a dentist for most of his life, so he must have had some money squirreled away. As you can tell, he was darn good at squirreling away junk. <laughs> have you had any of his things appraised? Somebody from a curio shop came in and took a quick look around, but it wasn't anything formal. Why is there an empty frame in the gallery in the other room? Apparently someone stole the canvas. Renee says it disappeared sometime after Bruno died. What was it a painting of? Do you know? It was of my parents. I think it was painted in the garden out back. Renee doesn't like me. Wouldn't surprise me if she took it out of spite. Okay. I found this scrap of paper in the fireplace. Do you know anything about it? You always go digging around in people's fireplaces? Just looking for something that might tell me who that skeleton man was. Ah. Uh, anything else? Why is there a model of a cemetery in the other room? 
because great uncle Bruno used to oversee the cemetery next door made that scale model so he could keep track of where everything or should I say everyone was crafted all those miniature crypts himself and people mm. think I'm weird yeah that is weird do you know what this is I found it in the other room looks to me like some kind of trace I was thinking that maybe my skeleton man left it behind. Well, I sure don't know anything about it. Anything else? I'll stop bugging you okay, now. Okay, none of that Sound was very good. helpful. Oh, I didn't get to- there's a question that I didn't get to ask him that popped up at one point that asked if he was married. Oh, I can go out in the rain. Oh, hello. Nancy, what do you have to tell me? Welcome to my little land and lit corner of the world. It looks like you, looks like, like you like to grow, to grow things. things. I do indeed. Herbs mostly. And because I'm in constant need of them, I grow them in pots. Thank you. Um, bring so up Bruno. So you're still doing the cooking even though Bruno Volet is gone? I don't use these herbs for cooking, darling. Oh yeah, she's like a Did witch or Henry something. Have a nice she tried to give me a, like a potion. Did I detect a little animosity between you two back there? Henry's a very morose, very negative young man. Very cunning, too. In fact, I'm fairly certain that he's been selling off Dr. Bolet's belongings on the sly. I mean, he's the executive of his estate. I think he's allowed to. Unless maybe they're in his will. I don't know how that works. Won't all of Dr. Bolet's belongings go to Henry anyway? Absolutely yeah. not. Oh. According to Dr. Bolet's will, Henry is to get 30% of the estate. Dr. Bolet's physician, Gilbert Buford, gets 30%. Our Lady of Route 57 School of Dentistry and Cosmetology gets 30%. And I am to receive 10%. Mm -hmm. What was in that concoction you wanted me to drink after I got knocked out? Never you mind. It was just a little remedy Never I you mind. on the spot to help you feel. I'm glad I didn't drink it. If you don't like Henry that much, how come you're still here? I'm here because Dr. Bolet paid me in advance, and I always fulfill my obligations. Okay. Have you ever seen this before? I found it by that scale model of the cemetery that's inside the house. It's a mystery to me. I suggest you ask Henry. He leaves things lying around all the time. I guess it figures I won't notice amid all the other clutter, but I do. I notice everything. How else Spooky. may I be of service to you? Spooky. What can you tell me about the painting that's missing from the frame in the gallery? Oh, Where she's got a little, um... Afraid. I didn't notice the picture she's was got a bag. Until after the reception. That has, like, a spell Dr. in it, usually. Funeral. I cannot even tell you what it was a picture of. If you don't mind my asking... Oh, I just noticed that the pouch, too. Pouch you wear around your neck? Things. Secret things. Secret things. things. Special talents when special times demand them. People usually mm -hmm. laugh when I say this, but this pouch is my connection to the energy that powers the universe. Oh. Cool. Well, at least you didn't laugh. She seems cool. Nice talking to you. One more thing. I too her face freaks me out. They really gave her some like After Dr. muscle. He was there, then he was gone. So you best be careful, Nancy Drew. Because if it was Mr. Death, and I truly think it was, he's coming back. He's just gonna wander around. Okay. Oh, what can I look at here? A bone shovel. Cool. Okay. Turn around, please. Oh, I'm just standing in the rain. Let the rain fall down. Ooh, what's this? Something blocking the... If I do this, I'll probably die. But I gotta do it. Oh, I'm gonna die. This is a song that spiders hate. Okay. A 
box for dandelions. Unusual. There's a mushroom that's like perfectly lit. What's this? Um, I don't know, I'm not good at identifying plants. Maybe mint? Oh, what's this way? Can I leave? I can! Or I can just go to the... to the graveyard. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am? Can I... There we go. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. Never mind, go back. I don't have... I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just exploring. There's a perfectly lit mushroom! That's the plant or whatever, this is the same place I just was. Ooh. Cool statues. Like weird vulture looking things. Okay. looks like the same symbol. Maybe I'll be able to change it at some point. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. This is Bruno's memorial. That's a thing in, um, at least New Orleans, isn't it? That they have, like, above ground memorials because of, um, they're like so below sea level. Boop, 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 boop. No, no, no. Why are you looked at that? What can you tell me about your relationship with, uh, what's her face? I forgot her name. Yes. How come your great uncle's crypt is in the garden and not in the cemetery? Don't ask me. It's kind of weird. Apparently, he built the crypt himself, but he never indicated in his will or anywhere else that that's where he wanted to be buried. I stuck his ashes in there anyway and had the thing inscribed. If that's not what he wanted, too bad. <laughs> this guy is stressed to the max. I'll stop bugging you now. Awesome. Hey, yo, do I sleep? What do I do? Do I just keep running around at night? Should we call poison control? Because I was technically poisoned. I guess it, I guess that's all I can do. <sighs> Maybe I'm just too dumb. I can't be a real detective. That's the front door, but I'm not leaving until I figure out what Mr. Skeleton Man was up to. Okay, Nancy. Wait, do I have my phone? Aha! I shall call Ned. Hello, Nancy? Hey, Ned. It's about time you called. Did you make it to New Orleans okay? Yep. Have you seen Henry? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure I like the way you said that. Is he okay? He's fine. Well, he's the executor of his great uncle Bruno's estate, which he's not real happy about. But he and his great uncle not were already knew that, so though, didn't he's he? not grief stricken or anything. Well, then, are you okay? I guess not. Other than being attacked on my way into Henry's house by a skeleton wearing a red ascot and hey, getting Ned, knocked by out the by way. a smoke bomb he threw at me, I'm fine too. What? Let's just say that I stumbled onto a mystery, and I'm not leaving till I solve it. Why He's only heard surprised. that like 12 Is times before. You? No, I told her I'd meet her back at the hotel. So tell me about this skeleton man. Well, it was this someone in a here? costume, obviously. He or she was leaning over something in the great room when I walked in and surprised them. So they threw a smoke bomb at you and ran? Yeah, they must have interrupted whatever they were doing. What were they leaning over? A scale model of the cemetery next door. 
Henry says his great uncle Bruno made it so he could keep track of who was buried there. Apparently, Bruno used to oversee the cemetery. And right near the scale model, I found a tracing of some kind of symbol. I'm thinking maybe Skeleton Man dropped it. Why would Skeleton Man be interested in the scale model of a cemetery? Good question. Maybe I'll take a real good look around in there and see if I can find out. Good idea. I'm still trying to figure out how you got to be friends with Henry. Well, we're not best friends or anything. Heck, we're not really even friends. I just feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he <laughs> never hangs out with anyone between classes. And he he doesn't even that, know this family, guy. Just wanted to make sure he was and okay he sent me Don't worry, Nancy Drew, fine. his a girlfriend. Strange, maybe, but fine. That's good to hear. You know, you're a pretty nice guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, super nice. Does not know the guy at all. Sends me to go hang out with him. <laughs> Ned. Right after Henry's great uncle Bruno died, someone stole one of the paintings from his gallery. Just took the canvas and left the frame. Anything else missing from the house? I don't think so. At least no one has said anything. Of course, the only people here are Henry and Bruno's housekeeper, Renee. And this house is so full of stuff. Even if something else was missing, it would be ages until anyone noticed. You think the missing painting ties in with your skeleton man somehow? Um... Yes. I do. Yeah. I mean, I have no idea how it ties in, but my gut feeling is there's some kind of relationship between the two. Well, if there is, I'm sure you'll find it. Because I'm a genius. Bruno Bole's housekeeper, Renee, is still here, despite the fact that she and Henry don't really get along that well. Why do you think she's staying on? She says it's because Bruno paid her in advance. But you don't believe her. Ten percent of Bruno's estate is supposed to go to her. Only she thinks Henry's been selling off Bruno's assets on the sly. So it wouldn't surprise me if she she's staying on so she can curious. keep tabs on it. How much of Bruno's estate is Henry supposed to get? Thirty percent. That's a pretty healthy chunk. You wouldn't be selling stuff on the sly. This Renee person sounds kind of paranoid. What this Doesn't Renee it depend on how it's set up? It's like free. it could be liquidated you know and then distributed? She wanted me to drink some strange looking concoction after I passed out from the smoke bomb, but she refused to tell me what was in it. And she wears this weird little pouch around her neck. Says what's inside it connects her to the energy that powers the universe. She's into She's voodoo. probably harmless, but stay on her good side. Just in case. She's probably harmless, but she's practicing voodoo. That's about and it. Maybe who Keep me posted. Who you knows? got that? Got it. Bye, Ned. Bye, Nance. Well, let's call Bess since I guess we left her at the hotel. Hello? Bess, hi, it's me. Hey, Nance. I just got back from shopping, which I am happy to report is fantastic here. So, what's going on with you? A lot. A lot is in a whole bunch of fun stuff. Let me start by telling you what happened when I, mean, I arrived here from George if Bess is with me. I walked up to the front door and discovered it was open. So I walked in. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have to tell. Oh. You were knocked out by a Do skeleton I get to play as Bess? a red ascot? <laughs> Someone dressed as a skeleton wearing a red ascot. Although the housekeeper here thinks it really was a skeleton. Mr. Death. But then, she's a little strange. You think it was a burglar? I'm not sure. I caught him or her sneaking around the scale model of a cemetery. What and about later, George? I, I can't call her. Something right by it. So if I could just figure out what it's a tracing of, and what, if anything, it has to do with that model cemetery, Thanks. I might be able to figure out who Skeleton Man is. I know that tone of voice. And you're not leaving there until you've done just that, are you? Oh, I also found some kind of receipt in the fireplace that may or may not be a clue. Zeke's it right across the street. That's what I need to find out. See, it's half burned up. All I can read is the receipt number and the name of the place it's from. Zeke's. Zeke's? You gotta be kidding me. Why? What do you mean? I mean, I'm sitting here on our balcony in the French Quarter looking down at a place across the street called Zeke's. That's great. So go over there and ask whoever's behind the counter what receipt number 21 dash three eight seven two is for i hope it remembers that you for me. me to snoop i wouldn't call it snooping i have a pen and a pad here to use but do it. Best, 
I'm not good at that sneaking around stuff, Nancy. I get nervous, my tongue gets all knotted up, my palms sweat, to say nothing of my armpits. Beth, receipt number 21-3872. Just go in and ask what it's for. No big deal. Maybe not for you. Beth, you can do it. Mm, this is not going to end well. I just know <laughs> it. Okay, I'll call you as soon as it's over. I'll be waiting. Huh, okay. So the only other game I play, I play about like 12 Nancy Drew games and only the only one other game that switched perspectives like this so far was the one right before this that's based in Hawaii. Um, just go forward from the balcony. Hey, what'll it be? Oh, I have to pick. Um, I will take the gumbo. A bowl of gumbo, please. Eat up. Delicious. I want some shrimp and grits. Tasty. In fuego hot sauce. Okay. Did I accidentally click on the food truck? Okay. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> How old are we supposed to be? Me and Nancy. I'm best now. Because I'm pretty sure she's usually like 18. And I know there's lots of like bars and stuff in New Orleans. Oh, a mummy. So this is like a, this is like the curio shop that we mentioned. Okay. Hello. Ooh, chemistry set. Mystical toast. Oh, hello. Hey, doing a little end of the day Ooh. shopping, huh? See something oh, yeah. you like? <laughs> look at his. I love his shirt uh, and vest. His outfit. I don't know what his pants look like, obviously, but um, I like everything. I like everything. That's what I wanna hear. I'm Lamont. This is my place. If you got any questions, I'm the guy to ask. Actually, I do have a question. Um, this friend of mine found the number of a receipt that came from this shop, and she asked me to ask you what the receipt is for. But if you're really busy, or you'd rather not, or it's against the rules... No problem. What's the number? Uh, 21-3872. 21-3872. Seven, two. Here we go. That ticket was for a large box of assorted unknown items I bought from Henry Bolet. And, uh, that's all I can tell you. So Henry is selling stuff. Assorted unknown items? It's a box with a bunch of different things He's in it. Kind of like a grab bag. Look, I just don't want to make trouble for anyone, okay? Where's the box now? It's still in the back room. I haven't had a chance to really go through it yet. Hey, is there something else I can help you with? Beads, hula dolls, old books. Got great deals on all of them. Is Henry Belay a friend of yours? No, I met him Stop at the reception my at questions. Bruno's house following the funeral. Gave Henry my card, said when he wanted to start liquidating, he should give me a call. Was Bruno a friend of yours? Way I hear it, Bruno Belay didn't have any friends. Mm, but I wish he had been my friend. I mean, that house of his is filled with <laughs> junk. He kept everything. For someone in my business, the place is knick knack heaven. <laughs> shouldn't your name be Zeke? This place is called Zeke's, and it's your place. Shouldn't your name be Zeke? The guy I bought this place from wouldn't sell it to me unless oh. I swore I wouldn't change the name. So I didn't. Funny thing was, his name wasn't Zeke either. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll check this place out some more. Take your time. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Look at this thing. He's a mermaid. Ding, 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 ding. Ah! <laughs> it's cool. Stinking pow- Oh no. I didn't mean to open the stinking powder. Sneezing powder. Now we gotta open them all unless they're poison. This might come in handy. Am I just gonna steal it? What? What the heck, Bess? 
Itching. Ooh, they weren't kidding. Giggling powder. <laughs> That's how powders work. <laughs> Crying powder? Is, you mean tear gas? Can do I, S sir? I would like to purchase your uh, of back. your wares. What's up with Did I just pocket it? Stuff over there. Who do something? Some of the more superstitious people around here practice. Told you. you. Mix certain herbs mm -hmm. and roots a certain way and drink them, or carry special objects around in little mojo bags. It can give you a supernatural edge in your daily life. If Beware you, the hoodoo. Work. All I can tell you is. Stuff I got in here sounds like hotcakes. Somebody thinks it works, so hey, who knows? Okay. Guess I'll check this place out some more. Sounds I, like a plan. I guess I'll just take the <laughs> the powder and not tell him. I'll just rob this small business. Oh. Um I don't know. I feel like there's no point in this. Because I do not know what it needs to be. Well, I've got the uh, right idea. Just moving some things around at willy nilly at this point. Close, but no cigar. Is it close? Is it any closer than last time, or are you just saying words? Why would this do do any better? I don't know. I'm getting there, I think. No. Okay. She's not giving me anything. Shouldn't blame her for not being Nancy. Nope. Uh, I think I looked at everything. Boink, boink. Let's go call Nancy. So we can switch bodies and ask Henry. Hello. Good news and bad news, Nance. I found out that the receipt is for a box of stuff that Lamont, that's the guy who owns Zeke's, bought from Henry Bollet. No kidding. What kind of stuff did Henry sell him? That's the bad news. The box is in a back room, and it contains assorted unknown items, and that's all Lamont would tell me. He said something about not wanting to get anyone in trouble. So, looks like that's that. No, no, no. Is there illegal shit in the, in the box? And find out what's in no, the Nancy, box. you've got to ask Henry what he's selling. Oh no, I'm not going to snoop, Nancy Drew. I told you, I'm a lousy snooper. You've got to, Bess. The place could close by the time I got down there and tried to do it myself. And knowing what's in that box could be really important. Could so I've got to get the thing to work to so that it distracts him. For something that could be important? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, Bess, please, just find a way to distract this Lamont guy. Look through the box and read. You can do that, okay? You Nancy. Owe me, Nancy Drew. Oh, do you owe me? Oh, you're the greatest. You really so are. So we can't switch bodies until I figure out this machine thing. Great. <laughs> so good to be best. Still need some work. Like what? Is there anything else I can steal? Hey. You wanna fight? Is he gonna do it again? <laughs> ah. I like that thing. Is there anything else I can steal? 
I'm guessing the sneezing powder is the one item that was missing. But now I still don't know. So, something falls on this, the sneezy powder gets lifted up, the fan blows it towards his face. Okay, but how do I get anything to do that? The only thing- Rube Goldberg machine, that's what it was called. I always want to say Ruth Goldberg and I know that's not right. I don't know. Now I'm a little lost. Usually did something. That doesn't quite cut it. Okay. The teeth. What will the teeth do? Oh my gosh, for real. There, that should do it. Um, Lamont, could you help me? <laughs> the fan had nothing to do with blowing the sure, sneezing powder. Um, I can't quite reach that bottle up there. Could you get it for me? Sure. There's a step ladder right here, Bess. <laughs> Sending me to the back room. I don't even technically have to sneak to the back room. Technically. Beaded curtain. I'm just gonna let my man sneeze continuously. Picture of a dog. Picture of an iguana. Secret fox. It was not Bronu. <laughs> Bruno. Bole. Nope, okay. Laverne was just wondrous this summer. We s La Vigne? I don't know. We stayed in France. Lord, so maybe he did get married at some point. Lots of food. Great. Oh no, that was someone else. I don't know. Nose spray? Is this the nose spray? I need to go through that box for Nancy, then get the nose spray for Lamont. Did I not just go through that box for Nancy? What else is there? I saw the skull, but we have to click on it. You're saying I have to figure out how to open this thing? Oh wait, there's another piece right here. Some of these don't exist. Hamlet 1332, Hamlet 836, 112X. Okay. Now can I get him the nose spray? I need to go through that box for Nancy. Then Do I have to figure it out? Crap, my dudes. What? Okay. 
Butch, there's a picture of an iguana. There's a picture of a kid with a dog. What's his dog's name? Something with a T. Look, there's a blue scarf. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Let's see. Um, I bet if I use all those Hamlet references, I'll be able to count to count on the letter. Oh. So not actually. Oh, I just have a pain in my arm, but it's not where I just got my vaccine shot. Okay. One, three, thirty-two. One, wait. <laughs> One, three, thirty-two, and it says one of these does, don't exist. Is it the one with the X? Cause I gotta say, I do not know how to get thirty-two out of this. Um, so I would think sentence one or paragraph one, but it's not a long enough. Ooh, fruit fly. But it's not a long enough letter. So I would say sentence one, word three, and then letter 32, but it, the word is was, and also those letters aren't even on the thing. His sneezing is really annoying me, though. Sir, could you stop? I'm gonna turn down my volume so I don't- I feel distracted by him sneezing. I also feel like he'd be like, it is not that hard to find and just come out back here himself. One. L. Three. One, two, three. V. Nope. Maybe it's L. And then W for was. Uh, no. Don't have a W. Cool. Or maybe I count from there. L. One, two, three. E. And then I count 32. Well, at least LE will actually work. I'm gonna start writing it down that way. Let's see. I got my handy dandy notebook. So I'm going to start writing it down. Cause Mama Marie, she's not the best. Oh my god, Lamont, it's not that big of a deal. It's one, three, thirty-two. And that's L, one, two, three, E. And then thirty-two from E. That's a B! I know that B was on it. So... I might not be crazy. This doesn't spell a word. But we'll try it. So I got L, E, B, E, N, U, N, D, T, O, D. 
Hey, I did it. Dr. Bole. This completes our- oh yeah, because he's a dentist. This completes our transaction. The Whisperer is now yours. Respect its power, gra- okay. Now, Bess, that is weird. No, I'll tell you what's weird. The box the letter is in, it's padded, and it has this round indentation in it that's the exact size of a human skull. Be it of it's a like human it skull? A skull but now it doesn't. Did you find anything else? I yeah, mean, I guess the box, that you box could just generally suppose the size One's of it. One's a boy and a dog, and the other is of an iguana dressed up like a pirate. What? And there's a costume in the box of a skeleton man. Really? Thought you'd like that. But he's got a blue scarf. Job, I'm gonna poke around here and see if I can find out anything about a skull called the Whisperer. You better go take care of Lamont. Would you believe it? The guy is still sneezing. You must yeah, because I took 20 minutes to get him his freaking oh, nose spray. Okay. Oops, wrong mouse. I'm on a two two computer setup. Um, let's go ask why he sold that. Hey, dude, why'd you sell that stuff? Yes. Who does he make me think of? Edward Scissorhands? I guess a little bit. I'll stop bugging you now. Is he wearing a glove? It looks like he had on- he, it looks like he has on like a one mesh glove. But it looks like he had a tattoo on the other arm, so maybe it's just like a weird tattoo that I can't really see. Um, why can't I ask him about why he sold that stuff? Hello again. Excuse? Nice Ex talking to you. Come excuse see me, me? I would let- I want- Something no, else? I didn't mean to click on you, sorry. I'll see you later. Thanks for coming by. I... I don't understand. Okay, there was a picture... There's a picture of the boy. But I'm fairly certain there was also a picture of the iguana somewhere? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I'll probably end it. I'll probably be ending my stream soon. But let's just take another quick look around. Oh, there's the iguana. See, I told you I saw one. I'm not crazy. I promise. He's right there. He's just stuffed now. Oh, no, he's not. What was that? That was a pet iguana. He's always in here stealing. Must be using it to build a nest or something. Look, I had all those books arranged. Oh, now I've got to arrange all the books. So in, okay? Why would you want them arranged I perfectly? This one book. Go right ahead. After you put all those other books back. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I did it! Almost. I'm almost there. Tiny book. Tiny book. Crystal skulls. Fact or fable? Beatrice Hodgkiss. I'm gonna take a picture of that phone number, even though Nancy will almost certainly mark it down for me. Just in case she doesn't. I take pictures on my phone sometimes too, if I don't want to write it down. <laughs> Scatter over the earth 13 human skulls. Okay. Oh. Oh, I just took that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. 
Now I gotta look at what that is. I was about to sign off, but now I made the slightest bit of progress. Okay. Can you answer any questions now? Bruno die, if you don't mind my asking. Just dropped dead in the front hallway. I mean, the guy was 95 years old. Here, check it out. Myocardial infarction. That's doctor speak for heart attack. Attending physician, Dr. Gilbert Buford, 504-555-9970. We Is got Bruno's call doctor? him. And his best friend, or so I'm told. I've never met him. Seems like a conflict of interest. Change. That's one of Uncle Bruno's glass eyes. It's the one he was wearing when he died. How nice. Anything else? Oh. I'm going to keep looking around. I on a keychain? I understand keeping it to some extent. Hello again. But you said you weren't even close to him. Did Dr. Bolet ever say anything to you about a crystal skull? He may have referred to it as the Whisperer. No, he never so much as mentioned a crystal skull, whispering or otherwise. But you know about crystal skulls. You have to know about them. Were you in the house when Dr. Bollet passed away? I was indeed. I was in the library cleaning when all of a sudden I heard a big thump. I hurried out to investigate and sure enough, so she was first on the scene. She found him. And as I rushed I don't know if this is a murder investigation. I don't think it is, but he took one look at Dr. Bollet and hollered at me to call 911. So I ran back into the library and did just that. When I came back out, Gilbert was leaning over Dr. Bollet, listening for breathing, I suppose. And then he started pushing up and down on his chest. It was too late. And then I could tell that Dr. Bollet how was it that Gilbert was able to just walk right in like that? As you yourself discovered, people around here seldom lock their front doors during the day. But you know, in the back of my mind, I have always wondered about Gilbert Buford showing up at the door at that exact moment. Was that the doctor's name? Why don't I ever remember people's names? This is a problem in real life. I understand that Dr. Life. Bollet had some interesting pets, like an iguana. That man never met a creature he didn't like. He trained them to do all kinds of silly tricks, then let them run free inside the house as well as out. So his iguana is going to be able to get me something. Um. Did he ever teach you how to make them do their tricks? I never cared to learn. Don't get me wrong. I liked Dr. Bollet. I truly did. But I swear, sometimes his activities made as much sense to me as bathing in a bayou full of gators. Nice talking to you. Fare the well. Okay, whatever. Oh, can I go that way? I didn't go this way before. Oh, we're playing some cricket, boys. Oh no, we're not. We're, we're spraying bugs. Die, die, die. No, 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 no. That should keep you guys quiet for a while. Delicious. Oh, there was a picture of one of those. I don't know what it is. A kumquat? I don't know. Lemon. Uh, in with the thing. Okay, that's the spider. We do not know the spider song yet. I did look at this. I want to go that way. And then I want to go find that freaking iguana. I bet I really want to find the iguana's nest. Since he said he steal that the Henry said the iguana steals paper. So I bet he has some important papers stashed away. Where'd the little dude go? I guess he's hidden away now. Iguana. Iggy! Yeah. Probably gonna call it for the evening. 
Yeah, since I've been streaming about two hours, that's usually the amount of time that I take. Um, and I hope you have a great night.